hello everyone welcome to our channel uh, this is Dipan Bacharji and you are watching 3Ds where discipline sets the goal determination takes the step and dedication completes the race so in this video we are going to discuss about biological nitrogen fixation uh, it is important for the students who are uh, preparing for NEET examination and uh, also the students of class uh, 9, 10 or 11 may look into it uh, the topic is uh, there in your NCRT book. Yeah. So before we discuss about biological nitrogen fixation, uh, we have to understand the concept of nitrogen fixation first. Yeah. So uh, our atmosphere is a mixture of uh, several gases, uh, but even though our atmosphere consists of several gases, but the main constituent is the nitrogen gas, which uh, contributes around 70% of atmospheric gases and we also know that the atmosphere is the largest reservoir of nitrogen yeah it is the most abundant gas uh, of the earth and uh, contains about uh, 10 to the power 15 tons of nitrogen gas but even after the presence of like such a large amount in the air the nitrogen usually becomes uh, deficient in plants as the content of nitrogen in soil is very very poor and the requirement is very high yeah so uh, this is the like nature's greatest irony that uh, the the most abundant gas in the uh, atmosphere which is uh, very very useful for all the living organism but cannot be consumed directly from the atmosphere yeah it is very important because it is uh, present in uh, foods it is present in plants even our uh, uh, own DNA is made up of uh, nitrogen. So it is very important and on the top of that no plants or animals are able to utilize it directly from the atmosphere. Yeah. So this has to be fixed. This has to be fixed because the nitrogen gas is very very inert. Uh, why uh, we are not able to consume directly from the air? Because it is uh, bonded with triple bond it is bonded with triple bond the n2 it is bonded with triple bond that is n triple bond n yeah so this is one of the most strongest bond and it cannot be broken down so easily as i've said earlier plants or animals cannot uh, directly consume the nitrogen from the atmosphere but there has to be certain ways through which this atmospheric nitrogen gets uh, converted into usable form for plants and animals. So the process by which the atmospheric nitrogen converted into usable form that is nitrates, nitrates or ammonia for plants is called nitrogen fixation. Yeah, this is nitrogen fixation. So for example, any natural or industrial processes uh, that causes free nitrogen, which is relatively inert gas, uh, which combines chemically with other elements to form more reactive nitrogen compounds. That is, as I've said, ammonia, nitrates or nitrates. So when I say natural, the first thing comes to my mind is thunder or lightning. So when there is a lightning uh, happening outside, the thunder strikes breaks the nitrogen bond in the atmosphere. When the bond breaks, the nitrogen gets uh, combined with water droplets and then through rain it uh, falls into the ground where it percolates the soil and gets stored there. Because plants or animals, as I have said, cannot consume from the atmosphere, so they consume it from the soil. So it gets stored there. Also, nitrogen is stored in the soil when a plant or an animal dies or when they excretes yeah so this is the uh, process of nitrogen fixation <clears throat> the other processes which are uh, also responsible for the fixation of nitrogen are somewhat similar in every cases where the main aim or the main objective is to convert the atmospheric nitrogen into usable form okay so now we'll understand uh, the concept of biological nitrogen fixation so let's uh, continue with the next slide biological nitrogen fixation so uh, in biological nitrogen fixation the main thing we have to understand that how it is done 
as it is as the name said biological nitrogen fixation that means it is uh, the process is done biologically means there are some organisms involved in the fixation of nitrogen yeah the only group of organisms uh, capable of doing so are small group of prokaryotes however there are some plants uh, evolved to compensate this demerit by performing symbiotic relationship with the diazotropes that can be best explained with the help of legume ribosome symbiosis that is a symbiotic relationship between leguminous plant and rhizobium bacteria the bacteria rhizobium are uh, symbiotically associated with the root of legumes the rhizobium obtain nutrition from the cells of roots and in turn fixes atmospheric nitrogen into ammonia this process of nitrogen fixation is performed in specialized outgrowth of root called root nodules okay so this is the actual process of biological nitrogen fixation yeah so it is discovered by benzrick in uh, 1901 Uh, this is uh, the definition of nitrogen fixation uh, we can see that uh, nitrogen is the major nutrients for plants uh, which is present in the soil and uh, we can also see that the plants are incapable of uh, using the atmospheric nitrogen uh, because of the presence of triple bond which makes it highly inert and uh, here uh, there are some examples of free living nitrogen fixers which are involved in uh, biological nitrogen fixation Uh, such as uh, azotobacter uh, clostridium uh, some associative symbiotic nitrogen fixers some endophytic nitrogen fixers and some symbiotic nitrogen fixers which is important that is rhizobium yeah rhizobium is very important because uh, it forms a symbiotic relationship with leguminous plant it forms an association with leguminous plant uh, we are going to discuss this uh, in the next slides uh so here uh, this is a definition of biological nitrogen fixation where uh, a group of microorganisms who have the ability to reduce the atmospheric nitrogen into nitrogenous compounds that is nitrates nitrites and ammonia yeah so it is of two type uh, non symbiotic nitrogen fixation and symbiotic nitrogen fixation so in non symbiotic nitrogen fixation some uh, free living uh, bacteria are there which are uh, uh, for example uh, azotobacter uh, azotococcus anabena uh, they are responsible for nitrogen fixation and the second is uh, symbiotic nitrogen fixation uh, which is again of three types uh, through nodule formation in leguminous plant through nodule formation in non leguminous plants and the third one is without nodulation so uh, symbiotic nitrogen fixation basically means that uh, uh, there is a symbiotic relationship between uh, two partners or two or more partners where both of them uh, gets uh, benefits from each other that is the uh, one uh, help another to survive yeah this is basically the definition of uh, symbiosis or a symbiotic relationship uh, so here it is uh, shown the nodule formation in leguminous plant so what is a leguminous plant uh, any plant which falls in the family of beans or peas or like uh, lentils so these are leguminous plants so here here it is shown the relationship or the association between uh, leguminous plant and rhizobium species so here is a uh, another way of fixing the nitrogen through nodule formation in non leguminous plants so there is an example given that is elder Elder nodule is the best example of uh, nitrogen fixation through non-leguminous plant. And the last one is without nodulation. So here is the plant root, and uh, the bacteria which is present in the soil gets uh, accumulated in the rhizosphere, where the nitrogen is fixed. Uh, so uh, this is the mechanism of uh, nodule formation. Uh, as i have said earlier that uh, in symbiotic nitrogen fixation uh, there is an association between uh, rhizobium and uh, a leguminous plant so the uh, nodule formation is the first stage of nitrogen fixation so here are the stages which takes place in nodule formation uh, so uh, here is the diagram of uh, nodule formation in a leguminous plant Okay, so let us take uh, a pre-plant uh, for an instance here, 
and the bacteria which is associated uh, for the nodulation here is rhizobium bacteria okay that is the nodulating bacteria is rhizobium uh, here in the soil there are some uh, roots and uh, we also know that uh, root here uh, is present in a root and uh, some soil particles are uh, there so the rhizobium bacteria found near the root here that is they are found near the vicinity of the root here now what when the rhizobium is prepared uh, to fix the nitrogen which is present in the soil it comes near the root here and gets accumulated and then it creates some sort of infection in the root here yeah which causes the root here to curl a little bit see this is the rhizobium bacteria which gets accumulated near the root here and then it creates some sort of infection as a result the root here gets curled see this is the curl of a root here now after creating the infection in the root here it will obviously try to enter into the root here so that it can pass through it and enter into the cortex region see this is the cortex region this is the cortex region it will try to enter there it creates an infection thread inside the root here like a passage uh, or a pathway through which the bacteria could enter into the cortex region after aging there the bacteria starts dividing continuously by increasing its number see uh, these are the bacteria and it uh, enters into the cortex region after that it started dividing see this is the region where the bacteria uh, is divided continuously by increasing its number so uh, as a result the cell of pericycle and cortex uh, the number of cell increases and the bacteria come together in a group to form a tumor like structure see uh, this is the tumor like structure uh, which is called as nodule yeah this is the nodule so the bacteria which comes from outside uh, and divides continuously uh, and forms a special type of cell called nitrogen fixing cell or they are called as bacterioid these are the cells this pink colored cells these are called as bacterioid and why they are called as special because these cells contains an enzyme called nitrogenase and uh, it needs anaerobic condition to fix the nitrogen because the enzyme only works in anaerobic condition that is in absence of oxygen so the actual nitrogen fixation is done in those nodules so uh, this is uh, a more detailed uh, diagrammatic representation of root nodule formation you can take a screenshot of it for further reference so now comes the nitrogen fixation part uh, so this is actually a mechanism of the enzyme nitrogenase uh, that is how it works yeah so as i have said earlier that the enzyme nitrogenase is uh, uh, responsible for the nitrogen fixation and it also requires uh, the anaerobic condition to work as well and if not then it will get oxidized yeah if it uh, gets in touch uh, with the oxygen it will get oxidized so uh, what the nitrogenase does uh, it converts the n2 into ammonia that is it reduces the uh, nitrogen into ammonia yes so uh, there are some uh, proteins there are two proteins which are involved in the conversion of nitrogen into ammonia one is mofe protein and the other is fe protein okay now let us discuss uh, in detail about them so this is the actual mechanism of how the enzyme nitrogenase works as i have said that uh, the enzyme nitrogenase uh, is sensitive to oxygen so it only gets uh, it gets inactivated when the oxygen level exceeds 0.5 atm so in plant cells oxygen level is somewhat high so the nitrogenase may fail to reduce the nitrogen of course suppose uh, we know that plants also respire so the oxygen level will be higher in plants isn't it since they release oxygen so uh, the oxygen level will be higher then how will the enzyme work 
it is written uh, that the nitrogenase only works in absence of oxygen but we also know that the plant releases oxygen then how will the um, uh, nitrogenase work the oxygen level has to be reduced uh, near the bacteria so there comes a protein called leg hemoglobin it is a red myoglobin like protein which is present only in healthy root nodules of legumes it is found outside the bacteria but in close contact with it so what it does leg hemoglobin uh, it combines with oxygen to form oxy uh, oxy leg hemoglobin and provides the oxygen to plant cells for respiration so the oxygen level around the bacteria is low and this low content of oxygen does not affect nitrogenous activity for nitrogen fixation so this is the mechanism how the enzyme nitrogenous work uh, so up to this this is the conversion of nitrogen into ammonia now this ammonia gets converted into ammonium ion that is from nh3 to nh4 when the hydrogen present in the soil gets adjusted to it yes after that the ammonium gets converted into nitrites and nitrates by a process known as nitrification and this process it is is mediated by some nitrifying bacteria for example uh, nitrosomonas nitrococcus etc so this is the actual process of nitrogen fixation or i should say biological nitrogen fixation so uh, in conclusion i would like to say biological nitrogen fixation uh, no is an important process that improves soil health and helps plants to grow better uh, this natural method increases crop production and uh, supports sustainable farming especially in developed countries where uh, you know agriculture is very important so by using this process farmers can depend less on chemical fertilizers uh, protect the environment and adopt a more balanced way of farming in the long run uh, the this method can change agriculture uh, making it better for the planet cost effective and beneficial for society so that's it for today uh, thanks for watching uh, if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit like button share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content uh, if you have something to say please drop a comment below we'd love to hear from you see you in the next video uh, stay awesome stay 3ds thank you